Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are unboxing Ice Yarns. So excited, right? So this is 73.2 kgs which is 161 pounds. I'll give you the details of the shipping and the cost and all that at the end of the video. I know some people wanna know and some people don't, so it'll be at the end of the video for people who want to know. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> at the top, I guess, right? The boxes are really filthy on the outside. I use my own freight forwarder, so Ice Yarn ships it for free to my freight forwarder and then I pay my freight forwarder to bring it all the way to my house. Uh, but it does take some time and it does get dirty on the outside. So I'm going to put them all out, standing up, or what I think is probably going to be up, and I'll open them one, one, one. I think. That's what I have to do. Should I do my up or their up? I guess I have to do their up. Ooh. Oof, gosh. You gotta be like lifting weights for this stuff. Can you see dust clouds coming off of those or what? Eee, you're gonna tip me over. There we go. One more. Okay. You see how filthy that is? Dirty. Okay, we're gonna start with this guy here because it's very fat. Oh. Yep, that's repacked all right. See anything you recognize in there yet? Okay. Let me wash my hands. Okay. Oh, that's great. So they put it in these bags. Oh, that's smart. So they put it in bags and then they put them inside. That's clever. Okay. So, let me get this area ready. Favorite, I got a lot of favorite coming in. They call this green. <laughs> so don't worry about like the lot number and the color and all that. I will link each color in the description box below. But this is called green in favorite. So we'll start that over here, or maybe we should go this way, isn't it? Probably. Oh, Saver 100. Really squished Saver 100, look how flat those are. They're supposed to be, well they're usually a lot fluffier. They will be after they sit for a bit. Yeah, see the difference in that one? These look really small even. Where, where are my glasses? Let me get glasses. Yeah, 100 grams, 220 meters. These feel really thin, but that's just me. No, it is not just me. The new Saver 100 is a totally different yarn. So these are both Saver 100. So here is the original Saver, or the Saver that I purchased last year, and the year before, and the year before, and the year before. And here is the new Saver, and you can see how much thinner the new Saver 100 is. If you push them flat, this original Saver 100, the old one, has body. It stays like a cord, like a bit of a rope, and the new one flattens down quite a bit. You can also just see from the size of how much thinner the new Saver 100 is. So I used to purchase Saver 100 to go along with Saver. Saver is Draylon acrylic or 100% premium acrylic and Saver 100 is regular acrylic, but it's still a really nice yarn and I can use them together on the same projects depending on whatever color it was. But now with the new Saver 100, the thinner version of it, it now goes along with Favorite. They are very similar in size and thickness. Although again, there's a bit more body to the favorite. So favorite is 100 grams, 210 meters, and Saver 100 is 100 grams, 210 meters. So they both have the same weight and the same length. If I had a choice, I think I still like favorite better. So to sum it up, Saver 100 used to go with Saver, but now Saver 100 goes with favorite. Okay, oh, and it's called Mint green. I think it's more of like a milky sage, don't you think? This is favorite. They just call it favorite. So I think this is like a blue jean color. 
the good ones, I'll take some out that we can mix together for colors when we get there, when there's colors to mix. This is dark salmon. That's a lovely color. That looks a lot like terracotta. Oh, and this is Saver 100. This is all favorite, okay. So favorite, put you over here. And Saver 100. Hmm, where would I put Saver 100? The other side, I guess, for now. So that's the first bag complete. And this is how the bags are. That's cool, right? All the way down, they're all in bags like this. That is so good. That is really good. Okay. No fancy way, I'm just gonna rip it open. Oh, I love it. This is favorite in a super great purple color. <gasps> I needed this color. That's, well, I guess it's the same as the other one I just opened. <laughs> I think I got two, 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 but I don't know. Favorite, again, this is called Salmon. That's a lovely color. I want that to be my lipstick, see? Wouldn't that be cute lipstick? <laughs> that is cute. Favorite. Favorite orange. Only the one so far, I'm sure there's more. So this is favorite orange. It's kind of like a brick, isn't it? Or like a dark orange. It's not the orange that you would be thinking in my head. This is cute. Oh, is this my lipstick color again? No, what is this one? This is candy pink. I take that as lipstick too. Both of those are cute for lipstick. So one is salmon and the other candy pink. Candy pink is real cute. That is real cute. Now green, I got extra. Green and red, I got extra because I almost ran out. I did find when I was cleaning up all of my whip baskets, I did find half a skein of like Christmas green. So I'm stocking up on Christmas green for obvious reasons. Like I don't want to run out. I love this color, as you can probably tell. <laughs> but this is favorite and it's called turquoise. That's a good one, right? Turquoise. Where's my blue action here, here somewhere? Nope, over here somewhere. Rope. Okay, and then favorite in white. Turns out I have white in Softly Baby. I don't have any white in favorite. So I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of white. I'm just gonna put the white on the ground because we know what white looks like. Oh my goodness. Next bag. Well, if they're all packed in nice bags like this, I think I might just unpack all the bags and then get rid of the boxes, right? And then it'll all be clean. These are all clean on the inside. So let me, let me bust a move and do that. Treasure alert. Come here, sweet thing. Cakes wool, what? Okay, we gotta talk about that one. Oh, there's some loose ones in here. Okay, I'm not gonna look at the loose ones.
is unboxed. Now we're gonna unbag. That was a workout. I actually broke a sweat. <laughs> So let's see, there's some goodies in the box that are loose, but let's get the main yarn unboxed, unbagged, I should say, and then we'll move on to the mysteries. So I have saver on this side and I have favorite on this side. <laughs> Look at that pile of goodness right there. So let's start with some favorite, shall we? Love it, so you can, I can tell well, actually, it might not be just favorite. It might also be Saver 100. So both of them come in four skeins per pack or four skeins, if you call it that. I was raised calling it skein, so that's it for me. I know it's wrong. I get it. Favorite in green. Okay, I really did stock up on the green. <laughs> Got a lot of green going on. Let me move you back over. There we are. Purple, oh, why is it stuck in there? Got some tape on it or something. Oh, from the bag. Favorite in purple. Can't have enough purple. Oh, so maybe I did do three. I don't know. I ordered the beginning of January, I think. End of January, I, I, yeah, I ordered at the end of January. White in favorite. I'll have to make a new pile because I can't get to my old pile now. Ooh, more of this one. These feel so tiny. Um, one more Saver 100 in the dark salmon. Saver 100's on that side for now. Favorite in turquoise. One more, good. This is a gorgeous color. Light beige. I'm light beige. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not, but <laughs> it's a really pretty color. That's really nice. Like I could live, this is like a color you could like wear. Sweaters, everything. That's gorgeous. This is, this is my new, this is my new pick right now. This I need more of. I know I didn't get that. Well, I don't know. Who knows what I ordered, but I'll be ordering more of this next time. Light beige. Where am I putting neutrals? I don't know, put it there for now. Favorite in rose pink. That's really pretty. I hope it's showing up grapey. It should be grapey. It's got like some pink to it. Really pretty color. I don't know, I guess it goes on this side, doesn't it? It has to go over there somewhere. Next bag. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, it's called favorite. <laughs> that is really pretty. It's like a rose pink. That's gorge. It's so pretty. How is that with my camel? Mmm. Both of those are gorgeous. I'll have to find the color. I'm calling it rose pink, so you can go to the description box and I'll put the right link there. Now oh, this is stuck a little bit, there we go. This is another rose pink, I'm calling it rose pink in favorite. Is that a lipstick color? Almost. Okay, those are staying there. My chenille, okay, so I love chenille. I don't use a lot of it, but I do use it for slippers. Chenille Baby Light. What? Yeah, chenille Baby Light. So that is a lovely turquoisey color. So I'll link my two hour slippers pattern up above, but two strands of yarn, if one of them is like a, a velvet yarn or a blanket yarn, you have the squishiest slippers. So I realized I only have like two, oh, I have four balls of chenille, so I needed some more. So this will be my slippers of the year. That's a different kind, isn't it? Put that down. Oh, it's gonna fall. Oh, this, now this is orange. This is the orange I always wanted. This is the orange I always wanted. I want this orange in Saver or Saver 100. 
wouldn't it be great? Instead of, oh, what are they calling this one? Oh, they call it orange. And they call it orange. So both of these are orange. I want this one. I love it. So that's lucky. I love the good neons. They're so handy. Especially when you're into rainbows and lollipops. <laughs> oh, wait, look. My other chenille. Okay, so these are my two chenilles that I've got. There is a purple, which is gorgeous, a gorgeous purple color, and a gorgeous turquoise. I do like the darker colors for slippers, obviously, because they get dirty, but I couldn't say no to that. Anyway, I use one strand of acrylic, like just Saver, Saver 100, a normal four-weight acrylic, and one strand of chenille for my slippers. Where am I putting fancy? I'll put it down here. Love those. Oh, favorite in rose pink. So one more of those rose pinks. Although that's grapey. Just to be clear. And one more favorite in orange. I can get it in there. And then the last one is white. I have my little stack of white down there. Next pack of favorite, probably. Orange, love a good orange. <laughs> Jiminy crickets, it's a lot of yarn. Oh, another one of my light, light beige. That is gorgeous. I'm running out of, yarn, of room back there. Oh, here is Saver 100. Where am I putting those? Oh, it's a different color. Dark orange. Saver 100 in dark orange. I'm trying to think, it's like a, like a gingerbread. Or a masala, that's a masala color. Hmm. Saver oh, 100 on that side. Favorite red Christmas. Hello. I have a lot of that. I'm just going to make a new stack over here with red. I think I have four packs of favorite in red. Another one in white. So that's three packs of white so far. This is another. Uh, Saver 100. These feel so skinny. It's weird. Okay, next bag. Oh, wow. Saver 100. Look at that color. We're getting in on that one. This is called turquoise. Wow. Is that not a gorgeous one right there? For real, oh, you know what it would go great with? Where are you? You would go so good with it. Okay, hold on, we'll, I'll show you at the end. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Because I think I bought more, that's why. That's a gorgeous color right there. That is beautiful. Saver 100. Favorite in light blue. Oh, that's pretty. That is like that kitchen color. Was it like a French kitchen? Is that what it's called? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's so pretty. Blue, please. I need more room now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I did clean off this shelf here just for favorite. I was prepared or preparing. This is gorgeous. This is just called favorite, but it's kind of like a like a concrete, like a mossy concrete or a washed concrete. It's real pretty. Oh, those go nice together. Look at that. That's Martha Stewart kitchen right there. Just saying. Okay, gray, called favorite, but this would be a dark gray. Gorgeous. Uh, oh, I love you. I love you. You're just going to stay right here with me because you're my favorite right now. 
This is another one of that great concrete color. And then there's two Saver 100s. Let me see. Oh, in dark jeans. It looks like navy, doesn't it? But let me show you. We'll open this one up too. It is not purple. If it's showing up purple, that's a problem. It's not purple. I'm sure there's a way of changing my settings on my phone to show accurate colors. Well, maybe I'm not sure, but it'd be great if there was. That is a real indigo. Now, next pack. I'm getting down there. At least you can't, they're off camera already. This is so pretty. It's called favorite. <laughs> I think it's like camel, camel color. That's what I'm calling it. Two packs. I have to start stacking over here. And two packs of dark gray. That's a really nice gray. It is like, um, like heather. You know if you're buying like sweatpants, there's that, that sweatpants called heather, like charcoal heather. That's pretty. See how it is? A bit of flex in it. That's really pretty. I'm calling it Heather Charcoal. So that's what I'll call it in the description box. That'll be a lot of links down there, by the way. That will be a lot. One more red. Favorite in red, so that's four packs. That should be all of the red. Oh, look at this gorgeous color. I love it. Favorite in gorgeous, gorgeous yellow. Yep, they call it yellow. But is that not so pretty? Yes, it is. Uh, I guess we got a second row it up there. Oh, and another one of my lipstick. What I wish was my lipstick. <laughs> I love that color. Look at that. So pretty. Now I'm just making a mess. So there's three more bags of favorite or Saver 100. Oh, now this is gorgeous. Oh, this is my Hobbit cloak colors. Hobbit cloak. I love it. There's another one. Oh, that's different. Here's another one. Okay, good. Now I won't run out of my Hobbit cloak colors. Oh, that's gorge. Saver 100 in light pink. That looks good, right? That looks like, is it wisteria? You know those little flowers that hang down, they're so pretty. That is a lovely color. Where's my, uh, my other? This is just gonna go with everything. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm really not doing well. <laughs> okay, so I have a row of Saver 100. Oh, okay, so this is, this is Saver 100? I don't think this is my Hobbit cloak. But it's not. It's the same color as my Hobbit cloak, but in Saver 100, is that a favorite? That's interesting. These are my Hobbit colors. See how it looks purple in the camera? It's not purple, just trust me. I love that color. If you don't know what my Hobbit cloak is, it's not done yet, it's a whip. It is my relaxation crochet project. Where is this? This is so pretty and so not that color. Now this is called jeans blue and this is called dark jeans blue. Hmm? Jeans blue, so pretty. Oh, and the green is called, the pretty green is called Light Jung, what? Hmm? English? Light Jung. Oh, maybe Light Jungle Green. Okay. 
while we're opening it. That is so pretty. It's like heathered again. Is that the word you put when it's like mixed like that? So pretty. Is that not a gorgeous color? It really is. I want to weigh this. It just does not feel heavy to me. Maybe they've just been squished. Maybe. Okay, back in light jungle green. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Now it's in your head. I know it. <laughs> You're welcome. Now this is the light. No, this is just jeans blue. Gorgeous. Now that is going to look purple. I can see it in the camera already. It's not purple. It is just a gorgeous kind of grayish blue. So pretty. We're going to be here a while. If you want to go get a snack or something like that, go ahead. We're going to be here. I'll be, <laughs> yeah, I'll wait for you. <laughs> Put me on pause and get a bevy. Okay, this is favorite, more of that light. No, it's a different color. Oh, it's a different color. Well, there's two. It's a gorgeous brown. I don't know what the name of it is other than gorgeous brown. Look, that is wearable, hmm? Isn't it? So pretty. So two packs of that so far. I guess I could reach that way. <laughs> it's getting to be easier. Oh, this is interesting. That is an interesting color. Light olive. I think they call it light olive green. I'm like, it's a yellow. And you know I'm, all, I'm collecting my yellows. Let's see. Hmm. I would call that Pyrex mixing bowl, Harvest, 1970s. Wasn't that like the medium one or like the second to smallest? Just saying, nailing it. Pyrex Harvest, yellow. Maybe they just got real squished. That's an interesting color. Oh, keep you down there. <gasps> Y'all are gonna love it. <laughs> Look at this. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I did get one little fancy yarn for myself. Let me show you immediately. Can you see that? Magic light. I love magic light. It's like magic glitz, but without the glitz. <laughs> so it's just magic light. And why I love it is it's the perfect yarn for like knitting machines. Those loom, knit, loom, what are they called? Circular knitting machines. Like I have my Centro. So I got this to make something on my Centro. It is a three weight yarn. Oh, one for you, one for me. You can look at the tidy one. So it is 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 360 meters. And it is a three weight. They suggest a four to four and a half millimeter needle. So I would use about a five millimeter crochet hook or a knitting machine. Boom, color changing. How cute is that, right? Love it. So that was my only variegated yarn purchase. Oh, and oh, it's so pretty. That is another Martha color in Saver 100. It is called light blue. It's very light blue, but it is like kind of concretey and it is really pretty. Goodness gracious, mama mia. Oh, those are different. Completely. Okay. Okay. So another Saver 100. I think this is the same, yeah. Light jungle green. That gorgeous green that I love. Like my Hobbit cloak, but a different yarn. This is gorgeous, isn't it? It's called Favorite. <laughs> they don't have a name on it, but it is really close to my other yarn that I like a lot. My Ken one of my Kenyan acrylic colors. Gorgeous. More of that brown color. So neutrals, I buy twice as much. 
like twice as much volume because usually I use it for edging, for joining, stuff like that. So it's kind of like the last row around everything. So I need more yarn. That is my system. So those are all together. I'm still turning the wrong way, right? <laughs> my last pack, I'll be like, oh look, let me reach. Okay, last one in that bag. There's one more bag of favorite. This is favorite, and it is that jeans color again. Is it? Nope. Is it the light jeans color? Nope. Oh. Oh, this color. It goes up here. Okay. That's a really pretty blue. Okay, last pack. Oh, uh, looks like Saver 100. So Saver 100 has these big labels and four per pack. And Favorite has a skinnier label and four per pack. That's how I know what's in the bag. Oh good, my Pyrex mixing bowl color. One more pack of it in Saver 100. Another gorgeous pack of Favorite. So that's two of that color so far. This is the one I love. Light jungle green. So I guess I have three packs of that. Obviously I love it. Favorite in light blue. So I have a two pack minimum per color. So if I like the color, I get two packs. It is one and a half packs or 600 grams to make a baby blanket. And then there's two skeins left over to do granny squares or something striped, something mixed. So with two packs, I can do a baby blanket if I want to do one baby blanket in one color. Plus I can mix and match a little bit. If I love the color a lot, I need more. <laughs> and if it's a neutral, then I need four packs at least. If it is white, or black or gray, I try for six packs if it's in the budget. I know, right? Okay. Next, jeans blue, Saver 100. That's the pretty color I liked. No more space, okay. Now both of these are jeans blue. That is the name of them and there are different shades. So if you are shopping on the ICRN website, you will see they'll have like blue, they'll have green, whatever the name is, but they'll have a couple different, um, they might have a couple different yarns with the same name, such as Jeans Blue. So that is when you go to the code, or if you have to reorder, you go to the code, and that code on the, on the bottom of the bag, that's kind of like their dye lot number. Now I know I did get a comment from somebody being like, that's not a dye lot number and the name is the name and blah, blah, blah. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, because case in point, two things have jeans blue. And they are different colors with different dye lots. So both of those are jeans blue. One is more like navy and one is more like, what do you call that? Cornwall? Cornflower? You know what I mean. So that is a little bit of interestingness for you. Oh, and let me tell you about Saver 100 while I have one out. It is 100 grams, 210 meters. It is a four weight worsted acrylic. They call for a five millimeter uh, needle. So I use a six millimeter crochet hook. I even use a seven, I'm not gonna lie. I love it. So those are jeans blue various jeans blues. Okay. Now, two more in the pack. Oh, we love that one, didn't we? Where is it? Oh, it's here, it's so pretty. So that is Saver 100 in that orchid color. What did they call it though? Light pink, but it's like wisteria, isn't it? That's a beauty. That's a beauty. And, is this another jeans blue? The Cornwall jeans blue? Right there. That's it for favorite and saver 100. Now I really feel like I have to organize this a bit. There's no space for yarn. How do I even do that? <laughs> I don't know.
How's that? <laughs> so this favorite and on that chair is saver 100. And then I have a stack of miscellaneous plus a little bit more favorite, the red and the white. Okay, ready to start with the bags of saver. I am, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's one that's been opened. And I'll start with that. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Teal. Mmm, we like teal. So, Saver is a Draylon acrylic. So, it is premium acrylic and it is thick and squishy and great. It's still a four worsted weight. I'll find a pack to show you. Another pretty, pretty, pretty grayish blue. There's so many, right? <laughs> a really nice gray. Oh, it's even called gray. Nailed it, nailed it. Oh, I like this one. This is my terracotta. Might be my terracotta. Mm, I like it. We're gonna be moving on up. Oh, I love this one. And it turns out I have some of it already. I have a lot, actually. I have, oh wow, I have four packs, so now I have more than that. This is candy pink, and I love it. It's as red as I like to go, so that's my version of red. Love it. And, oh, savor in blue. That's a pretty blue, I'll let me show you. And I'll read to you about savor. Look at that pretty color. So Saver, 100% Draylon acrylic, 200 grams, 330 meters. It is a four, wasted weight, four worsted weight acrylic. They ask for a five millimeter knitting needle, so I use a six or even a seven millimeter crochet hook. If I want it like really squishy, I use a seven. And if I want it to still be a bit tight, I use a six, so depending. Next bag. Ooh, pretty. I did get a little more white, and I know I still have 12 packs, but I ran out two years ago, and I'm scarred, so I'm, I, I get white. <laughs> I love white, I need white. This is another teal. That's really pretty. Where's my teal? Oh, is it? No, wait, what? No, nope, it's not. Now this one I have to show you. I thought it was teal. Maybe I should put my glasses on. I'm just coming up with names now. Whew. Gorgeous. Look at that color. So it's like a dark greeny kind of teal. Isn't that pretty? Like emeraldy. I love it. So that is a great color. I'll call it emerald teal in the description box down below. You can pop over and see it. The unnamed yarn. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. This is called Saver. <laughs> There's no name on the bags, but it is definitely like a cream color. That is such a pretty color, right? Such a nice neutral. Oh, one more pack of that really great dark tealy, emeraldy teal. Oh, I love this color. They're gonna call it blue. Light blue, I was wrong. Light blue. That's pretty, right? Light blue. And I wanna say this is camel. But I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that would be camel or mink. Let me see if I can I spy anything. It might actually be mink. This undetermined. I'll leave it here so I can figure it out. Okay, one more bag. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. And then we're finished. Lovely. Those colors, pretty, right? Okay, 
This is aqua. I love aqua. I have a lot of it because I love it. That is a really great color. I also like it because it's not like boy and it's not girl. It's just in the middle, it's so pretty. This I want to say is black, anthracite, anthracite black. So I like this shade because it's not strikingly black. Sorry for the noise. It has a little bit, can you see any heather action in there? It has little bits of fleck. So it's black, but it's not gothic black. It's suburban black. <laughs> anyway, I like it. Uh, I don't have much of it. I was gonna edge, I was gonna join some granny squares with it or something. Oh, my secret stitch is cow blanket. I'm like, I didn't even, I don't even have enough. I was like, that's like, wow, I didn't. You really wouldn't expect that in my life. Blue, stay over there. Black, there you go. Oh, this is lovely. Gonna say dark gray. Yes, it's dark gray. That's lovely. And I'll show you. This is kind of like elephant color. Real elephant color. Isn't that nice? That is so wearable. It's like earthy and gray all at the same time. I love it. And I love favor. So those can go there. Two packs of that. This is turquoise. I love this color a lot. I use it a lot. It is still in the, you know, that, the turquoises, the grapes, the nice minty greens. They're, it's easier to make gender neutral things with these great colors like that. So I like to keep a good supply. Oh, another one of those gorgeous blues. The blue blue that I showed you. Yep. Get that together. Oh, another of my terracotta. Let me show you terracotta because it's a lovely color. I think it's terracotta. Pretty sure. Oh, broke the bag. Sorry, bag. This is what I made the sober granny in a spiral cowl and fingerless gloves with. Such a pretty color, isn't it? I love it. So extra of that because it's a really wearable, really wearable shade. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. And this is a nice one. Back into my prairie harvest tones. That's cute, right? This is called gold. Well, I don't know if you'd call it gold. Isn't that just like, like prairie wheat field? Okay. It's cute. That bag's empty. One more bag. Do you need another snack break? <laughs> it's been a while, right? Mint green. I love mint green. I love mint green a lot. That's another color that I love. I use these two together a lot. The aqua and the mint green. Yes, those are great. Another one of those dark teals. So three packs of that, I must have loved it. <laughs> oh, and a dark green. This is like an army green. I'm trying to stock up on my greens as well. That is a dark green. Very dark, kind. it's almost like a khaki green. Is it our army green? I like it. Oops, ripping my bag. There we go. Army green. Oh, this is pretty. This is like a navy. Yeah, this is navy. Let me show you that one. Navy blue, so pretty. Look at that. 
That's gorgeous, right? If it looks purple, I'll be really sad. It is not purple. I love it. That is navy. That would be so perfect with like a cream color for like a, a jumper, a sweater. Gorgeous color. Surprise, surprise, red. Are you getting my theme? <laughs> Hobbit cloak and Christmas. If you're wondering how often I shop, it's like once a year. So I'm not shopping or getting any more yarn this year. One more aqua. I don't even know why I looked at the label. We know it's aqua. There we are. And two left in the bag. Oh, good. One more army green. And one, that's going to say brown. Doesn't say anything, but one brown. Look at that color. That's really pretty, right? That's like kind of like a clay, like a hacienda. I just wanted to say hacienda. That's a really, it's like Chinook hacienda. Chinook hacienda. <laughs> I love it. That's a great color. One more bag. Oh, I love it. A lot. Okay, well first, there's another red. Let's pop those down on the ground. Look at this gorgeous color. So this, I wanna say it's also called candy pink. There was two candy pinks. My favorite, the hot candy pink, and then this candy pink. This is like candy pink milkshake. I love it, it is gorgeous. Another navy, I wanna say. Yeah, one more navy. That's there. Another brown. That hacienda. hacienda. Brown. A dark gray. Now oh, I've gotta move my things around here. Another dark gray. And one more anthracite black. Where did I put my black? Put one over there. I haven't found that color yet. Okay. All right, now, bag number four. Let's see. Ooh. Those are some good colors. Okay, one more light gray. Where did I put my light gray? Here it is. Light gray. One more of the blue. Oh, right underneath the light gray. There we are. Where is this guy? Oh, way at the bottom. The color from the beginning. I want to call it teal. Yeah, that teal shade from the beginning. It's way down here. So I'm not going to put it together. I'll put it nearby. Another hacienda. Hacienda. A lovely purple. They call it purple. <laughs> Wait for the name, purple. Uh, I have some, I have three, so that's good. Look at that gorgeous color. Now this is purple, so if it looks purple, that's good. Isn't that pretty? It's like a grape, really lovely. Purple. Oh, another one of these steely blues from under my gray. I might have to just move my gray. Actually, there we are. Another, what is it? Anthracite black. And another light gray. Put that here. So cute. I feel like we're picking up the pace. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, bag number three. Ugh. Ah. Ah. 
doesn't it just make you happy? I love it. So, and, oop. I love it so much I throw it. A mint green, one of my best colors. I'm gonna move it where you can see it. There we go. My mint green. Oh, this is mink. This is what I'm using for um, my Frankly Circles. Yes, I said it out loud, my Frankly Circles. It is a lovely blanket if you don't know. No, it is not, uh, the tutorial is not coming out right now. <laughs> I still have to have time to film it. So that is mink. And that is what I'm joining, let me move these for a sec. That's what I'm joining my Frankly Circles with. So, I got extra because it is a, such a gorgeous color and I don't want to run out. Okay. Mountains, mountains of yarn and a light pink, even called light pink, nailing it, which goes with my little baby blankety collection. Oh, isn't that cute together? I know, right? That's cute. So light pink and mint green. Also another light orange. That's a really pretty color actually. I had more of it somewhere. Oh, I'm using it upstairs. <laughs> I have more of it in real life. And this is called pink, like a candy pink. So that's also nice with the baby colors. See how that goes together? Maybe I'll just put that down here. Whoop, okay. That's all right. Bag number two. Oh, so I guess I was doing my counting wrong. I was counting wrong. Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay, so mink. Can't get enough, obviously. And this would be camel. Can't get enough. Camel, camel, camel. Well, let me do this. White. White. <laughs> no comment, okay? <laughs> I have issues. So, mink is the lighter color, and then camel is the darker color, which is really good for joining anything. There we go. There we go. One more. Did I already show you the light orange? One more light. Was it light orange or light copper? Light copper. Getting that wrong. Okay. Last bag. Oof. Oofy doofy. I still have to show you the treats. Oh my goodness. Another light pink, another regular pink. This is from my last order. It didn't get included, so they sent it this time. Two yellows, 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 whoop. Two, oop. I'm dropping yarn. Two light orange. I like this color a lot. It's really fun. I'm going to put you in the middle there. There we are. And then, last but not least, more of my favorite yarn <laughs> in mint green. That mint green is so great. So there's my four packs of mint green. Oh my gosh. Okay, it, technically it fit. <laughs> so let me wash my hands and I'm gonna show you that special yarn. That's a lot of yarn, just saying. That bag of saver that broke, there was a couple more packs in it. Is this my, yes it is. This is my terracotta that from the Sober Granny Cowl. I have no spot to put them. Now I have to put them on the ground. <laughs> it almost fit until I cleaned out the rest of the box. And one more of that gorgeous light blue color, which they'll call light blue. Another white, because you can't have enough. So that's my four packs of white. 
This is gorgeous. Ooh, this is my baby. Hmm, my baby. Well, let's give my baby a feel. I'm gonna need glasses now, one minute. My baby in pink. Let's see, where is the little open? Excited to try this. Ooh. Oh, that is delicious. Wow, this is soft. S-O-F-T, soft, really soft. It is called My Baby. It is 100% anti-pilling acrylic, 100 grams, 220 meters. It's a three weight acrylic, so a DK weight. And they call for a four millimeter knitting needle, so a five millimeter crochet hook. Wow, that's really soft. An anti-pilling, who doesn't love that? So if you are looking for an anti-pilling yarn, My Baby is the way to go, so soft. I wonder what other colors it comes in. Let me check and put them on the screen so we can shop together. <laughs> I love it. That's so soft. Okay, so that is gonna fall right off. Oh, look, I can make a little shelf. There we go. Yarn shelf. Yarn shelf of shelf. Oh, this, what's this? Oh, it looks like Cakes Blues, is it? Ah! Oh, Cakes Blues Baby. I was almost right. I used Cakes Blues to make the floors and windows baby blanket, which is worked in a square, so you just kind of keep going until you run out of yarn. Oh, it is softer. Although Cakes Blues is also really soft. This is nice. Oh, I'm not sharing, am I? <laughs> no manas. One for you, one for me. This is Cakes Blues Baby, 100% premium acrylic, 100 grams, 210 meters. It is a three weight, so a DK weight yarn. They ask for a four millimeter knitting needle, so a five millimeter hook. Wow. It looks quite thick for a DK, don't you think? Not that I'm a professional, don't get me wrong. That's really cute. And I bet you those colors would just knit together so nicely or crochet together. What a beautiful color change. I wonder if you use this and did a granny stitch, if it would just make your blocks look like, you know, you really tried. That's pretty. Let's check out the other colors. Where can I put you? Next is Oh, Alara Batik. I was looking at Alara. I was like, I really probably should. I have a lot of Alara up there. And this is the new Alara, but color changing. And then I was like, calm down. <laughs> calm down, get your colors. Don't go crazy. You know what I was thinking of doing with my Alara is making like a Speedy Granny Ruth spring shawl. Look at that. So it's Alara, well, if you don't know, Alara, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. I'll read it. I'm just making that up in my head. Okay, so Alara Batik, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, nailed it. And it is 50 grams, 140 meters. It is a three weight yarn, so a DK weight. And they ask for a four millimeter knitting needle, so you can use a five millimeter crochet hook. This works up so great. The stitches are like so squishy and it's a really nice yarn to work with. I have a lot of it. I gotta start using it up maybe for the summer. But isn't that cute? Such lovely colors in there. So that's interesting to see. That can go somewhere over there. And one more. This is the last one. This is Cakes Wool. Cakes wool, I love the colors. I hope you're not allergic to wool. Let's see it. Oh, it's nice. It is like soft and squishy. Soft and squishy and good. I guess I could make it tidier for you. There we go. 
How cute is that? It is, as, it is as squishy as it looks. So this is called Cakes Wool. It is 20% wool, 80% acrylic. 100 grams is 190 meters. It is a four worsted weight acrylic, five to six millimeter knitting needle. So a six to seven millimeter crochet hook. Mmm, those colors are so great. Isn't that pretty? That's impressive. This is soft. Yeah, you could, you could wear it. It's nice. That's a good one. And it's rustic. You see how it's like the colors, they're kind of like little flecks around. So it's not like a, it's kind of like a farmhouse look, but it's so soft and squishy. Oh, I love it. That's interesting. Well, thank you so much, Ice Yarn, for sending me those to try. That's great. Always like to see new yarn. Even though I stock up on what I use, I like to see the new yarn. That was great. You have to get back in there so I can put yarn here. There we are. So now it's empty. Nothing left. So that's all unboxed, unpacked, ready to get put on the shelves. I'm so excited about that. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments down below. I'll put a link to most of those colors underneath this video. So just scroll down. So just click show more and scroll down and it will be there all by color, whatever I call them in the video. It'll just be the link to that yarn. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and do that right now. Not that I buy yarn like this all the time, but I definitely do every year. And we have a lot of other stuff going on the channel. Live chats on Fridays, podcast on Saturday, and tutorial on Sunday, plus a lot of other bits and pieces. There's a beginning series if you're thinking about learning to crochet. So if any of that's of interest to you, don't forget to subscribe. Have a super great day. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked. Y'all know I just have to go put that yarn away right now, right? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I think I've been unboxing for like three hours. No, feels like three hours. Has not been three hours, it's been two hours. What? Two and a half? My kids are almost out of school. <laughs> I gotta hurry up. <laughs>